questions. If you want a, an example of how difficult uh, it can be for politi politicians to decide what to do, uh, Bristol has declared a climate emergency, uh, and yet there are plans to expand the airport, and this is what the mayor had to say about that plan when he was on the programme a couple of weeks ago. No, I support the expansion. I mean, you can't dismiss the thousands of jobs that are tied up and the thousands of jobs that have come this way with a, with a simple catchphrase. If you're not in power and you don't have to make decisions, you can go on single issues. But what we're talking about is a potential extra £3 billion in the economy, uh, ten, a doubling of the number of jobs, 10,000 jobs related to the airport, at a time when working-class jobs are being pressured by uh, manuf you know, manufacturing jobs are, are disappearing under pressure. Thangham, that's the Labour mayor. Uh, I mean, that's real politics, isn't it? Well, I think real politics is also led by the government, and it was the government that was sued oh, by talking about the mayor's birth. decision and the airport. The, ma the mayor d gets to take those decisions. I, my job in Parliament is to challenge the government and what they're failing to do, and I think they're failing to take climate um, change seriously. I also think they're failing to take air pollution seriously, and that's why you know, I and a cross-party group of politicians in Bristol agree that we should have the strongest possible clean air zones. I pressed the mayor on this, and, and I know that the mayor knows my views on that, but I also helped to get some money brought from central government to the local council. Okay in order to develop just, that. Just while we're on the subject, do you support the airport's expansion or not? Well, in I, a word, I, no, I don't think things are that straightforward, to be honest. I actually have great concerns about an airport expanding when we have a crisis in climate change, but we, it's bigger than just airports, isn't it? It's also about renewable energy. It's also about making sure that cars are, com are not being used as the public okay. transport method but, of choice. Uh, let me just bring Molly back on this, because there is a price, isn't there? It's easy to demonstrate about climate change, but actually it does mean taking fewer holidays, not using the car so much, perhaps not using so much new technology, charging your phone all the time. Uh, do you think... <laughs> that side is understood, uh, particularly by these young de demonstrators. I, I mean, if, 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 no gap years, I no think what the trips. young demonstrators are saying is they're sick of people saying they care about their grandchildren and empty words and not following through. And I'm afraid that the decision by um, the Mayor of Bristol, Marvin Rees, to support airport expansion at the same time as he, he says he supports the climate emergency, it just doesn't make any sense at all. Greens are completely opposed to airport expansion and, as you say, we do need to change the way we behave. We can have holidays, we just shouldn't be flying more than once a year. 70% of flights are taken by 15% of people, so it's actually the wealthy who are destroying the climate.